the way Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride! Morning guys and welcome back to Vlogmas day four. Um, thank you so much for coming back and watching and I feel like I'm just really enjoying doing this every day and thank you so much for all your lovely comments and messages. It just really means a lot so thank you. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I know it's just a bit all over the shop but I thought yeah just trying to share like what we actually get up to every day. Um, yeah and hopefully you're enjoying watching along. I'm just getting ready for the day. Um, it's actually really hot here today like I don't know what it is. 25 degrees, so it's so nice. We haven't had great weather recently, so I'll take it. Just got work today. Harry's at work, so my mum has Camilla for the day while I try and get some work done. And then this afternoon or tonight, we are going down to the park and down to the playground with some friends and their little babies. So that'll be really exciting just for to catch up with them all. Haven't seen them all together and like caught up properly for a while. It gets harder and harder as your kids get busier. And this time of year is also really hard. Just lots of social things on. Work is really busy. So it'll be really nice. And we've got the perfect weather for it. So I'm just going to do my makeup. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm about to go off to a wedding dress um, appointment, which is really exciting. I was supposed to pick my dress up last week. Sorry, just had to get this. I was supposed to pick my dress up last week. So two weeks ago, long story short, two weeks ago, I went and tried the dress on for the alterations person. The lady had to alter it because it was a bit big, like once it arrived at the dressmaker, oh, at the dress store. And then we did the measurements. A week later, I went back to pick the dress up, tried it on like for the final time, and she'd accidentally done the wrong measurements. <laughs> so it was way too small. Like she accidentally did the wrong size or whatever and when I was trying it on I was freaking out a bit because I was thinking oh my goodness like once you cut the fabric like that's it there's no more fabric um and our wedding is in like five weeks we leave for the wedding so anyway um luckily hopefully there was a way that she could you know work around it and yeah so I'm it was another week and then we're going to pick it up today crossing my fingers that it's all good i really just want it organized like i just want to get it have it here so it's all ready to go for the wedding so hopefully that'll be all good so i'm just quickly doing makeup i'm not going to do like full face or anything today it's quite hot um and i just want to do like kind of casual makeup so i thought i'll do my makeup with you and just kind of share like i've shared little bits about my like full face makeup but i thought i would also share what my like everyday mum makeup kind of is I feel like I've got like three different versions of makeup. So I've done my skincare and stuff, then I've popped on some of this Emco Beauty Flawless Glow. It's kind of like the dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've spoken about that before, but I really love it. I just feel like I put it on with a beauty blender too. I feel like it just blends in really nicely, gives you a nice subtle glow. Then I've actually just popped on some of this BB cream. This is from the brand Chi Chi. I've spoken about this literally a million times. My favorite like tinted serum. It's got SPF in it as well, which I love. So. I feel like for days like this, I just want like something light. So start off with the base. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. This kind of adds, depending on what concealer you use, but this one adds like a tiny bit of coverage too. So um, it's just also nice to brighten up under the eyes when you're tired like me. <laughs> this one is my favorite as well. It's from Hourglass. Um, it's the Vanish Concealer and I use the shade Cotton. So I'm just gonna blend this in. This is a really great, concealer brush too. This is also from Hourglass. I feel like their brushes, they're quite expensive, but they're a really good investment. Like they're actually really good quality, blend everything really nicely. I have like kind of collected them over the years. 
Like I feel like every year I've added one brush to my collection. So I've slowly built up the brushes that I need. Next up, I usually just go in with a bit of powder. So if I was doing full face, I would go for a bit more of a like setting powder. Today I'm just using this like really light one. It's a bit more glowy and light from Hourglass. It's the Ambient Light Powder. I use the shade Dim. Um, whereas if I was doing full face, I usually go in with the Laura Mercier like... This is yeah translucent actual setting powder but i feel like on days like this i don't need full coverage a bit of bronzer i'm going for this one this is charlotte tilbury they're like floor airbrush bronzer shade medium i really like this too you can kind of blend it and i just kind of like pop it on the high parts of my cheekbones and like up around here um but yeah it's really buildable which i really love and i'm noticing in here look how bad this is i really need to wash my robe and then I'm gonna go in with some, some blush. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this Nude Sticks one. This is like a cream blush. I've spoken about this before. So I just usually rub it on my hands. I feel like if you go like this, it's quite dry. Whereas when you rub it on your hands, it seems to like warm the product up a bit. And then I just get it all onto the brush and just blend it in like this. I feel like it works a lot nicer. I do see some girls put it like this as well straight onto their face but i think when that happens to me or when i do that i feel like it's too much like it's too full coverage it doesn't seem to like blend in as naturally next up we're going to do eyebrows again i'm just going to do it really quickly because we're doing like natural makeup today so i'm going to go in with my pencil and just fill them in a tiny bit this is from hourglass i love their pencil it's really nice my eyebrow ugh. my eyebrows my eyebrows i sounded really american then my eyebrows are well overdue but this time of year i've tried really hard to book all of my appointments to suit the wedding so it's kind of that awkward christmas and wedding time like my nails my facials my eyebrows and my hair are all booked around the wedding so i've kind of had to go that awkward length of time in between which it's okay it'll be worth it it's like a setting spray my favorite I've ever tried. It's the Flawless, what is it? Airbrush Flawless from Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, like if I could have keep one pro, I swear this product just makes your makeup look so much nicer. Okay, I'm just doing a tiny bit of mascara with my all time favorite, Sky High from Maybelline. Okay, makeup is finished. I've just quickly popped on this casual, like this little romper shirt. I'm just quickly gonna duck to my appointment. I'm just gonna pop on some of this. And then, see if you can see the makeup. Just nice and natural and glowy. Probably gonna add a little lip. So, when I'm doing like supernatural days, I love this lip as well. It's kind of like lipstick, but more of a balm. It's from Shantakai, I think that's how you say it. I got it from Mecca, it's in the color. It's called Lip Chic from Shantakai in the color Sari Rose. It's so good. It's just like a nice glow, but it's not full on like lip gloss, a lipstick. Yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna put this. Going to head now to the um, try on appointment and fingers crossed the dress is all good and I can bring the dress home today. All right, so I've just popped on the Lulu short, shorts and bra. I have to say they're so comfortable. Like, honestly, if you haven't tried the Align fabric, like, seriously, go in the store and try it out. Or um, if you're in the need for some new active stuff, it's just so comfy. Like, I just love it. I wore this stuff all whilst I was pregnant. Um, so, and I only had black. I think I mentioned that in my last vlog, but I just really wanted to get something lighter for summer. So, we've got the Align shorts. I think these are in the six inch length. They're so nice. They're just, I love at the top here, there's no seam. So that's kind of like just rolled, which makes it so comfortable. It's just got a seam here, but it's not like, it's honestly just the most comfortable fabric ever. It's got a pocket in here as well. So you can put like a key or I'll show you there, key or like coins or something if you're going out for a walk. But what I love the most, I actually really struggle with leggings and tight things around my waist if you're like me like just women's health issues and stuff like that i often just get really uncomfortable when things are really tight around my stomach especially like elasticated things um so i feel like 
these are just like so buttery and soft. So really nice around there. Then the bra, so good. I haven't tried this exact Align bra before. I've only ever tried the, it's kind of like a thin strap one in black and white, but this, I love this. I don't know if you can see the back there. It's kind of got this nice kind of crossover. And I just love that the color matches. I've been really wanting like a matching set for a while. So yeah, super, super comfy. Um, I'll link them both down below. Like just so, so good if you're on to, if you're wanting, yeah, new stuff. I really like this color for summer as well. It's like a bit, it's not white. So it's like not as fresh, like, you know, that I would be a bit scared wearing like all white activewear, but it's like nice and summery. So love this. Now I'm going to try on the defined jacket. I'll just try it on with this and see. Also, I'll link these um, runners because these are my all time favorites. They're just Nike, but it's really hard to find white runners. Like I looked so much for these. I got them for Mother's Day this year, but yeah, it's really hard to find plain white runners that are nice and classy looking like classic without colors. So if you're in the need for new runners as well, I will link these. So then I've just popped on the cropped defined jacket. I really love this as well. Um, I spoke about how I've got two of these defined jackets in the normal length, which kind of comes down here a bit um, in the black. And I've got it in this bone color actually, but I saw this one on the website and I loved this. I just thought, I love that it's cropped. I think that like it kind of is so flattering, comfy. I just love it and I love the color. It's this really gorgeous stone color. Nice for spring, summer. Like I thought it would be so nice and I love it with this color I just think it matches so nicely oh I just think it's nice to mix it up kind of inspires you to I really want to go for a walk now but I can't because I've got too much to do um but yeah love that and I love the crop this is a perfect size too like I just feel like it falls really nicely and because these are a bit high-waisted that kind of just sits at a really nice length but yeah love these hope I, they're all still available I think so I'll link them link them all down below for you but so nice so I'm just getting ready to go out now. I'm just getting ready to go down to the playground and then pack Camilla's bag. I've got to go pick her up, pick Harry up from work. We've got a few quick appointments on the way um, and I want to try and get yeah, pack a little picnic. But I thought I might wear this new dress. It's this new black, it's like a strapless long maxi dress from Suzanne's actually, from Suzanne. So I'm just going to steam it and it's a bit of a steam. I haven't tried it on before, so steam it up and see how we go. But I thought, it's a nice day outside to wear a dress. It's like the first day that we've had, nice day that we've had in a while to actually want to dress up. So turn the steamer on, see how we go. ready to go. The only thing that's annoying me is it's like a tiny bit too big at the top. But anyway, I really like it. I just think it's nice to have like a strapless. It's very breezy and it's got pockets. Who doesn't love a dress that's got pockets? Also great news on the wedding dress front. I've got my dress. It's all picked up. It's in my possession. So it's all ready to go. Um, I'm just so excited now. And I got to try it on one last time, which was so exciting. Sorry, I was just putting that bag away. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited now. Ah, got the dress and altered. So I'm wrapping up this present, but all I've got is happy birthday paper. Uh, I haven't been down the street to buy any Christmas wrapping yet. So, I was going to just put it in a bag, but kids like opening presents, so surely happy birthday. Wrapping is better than no wrapping. I got this um, picnic basket bag thing last year for Christmas, and I have used it, but I've still got the tag on. Um, it's from Country Road. I've also got this mini one, which I like to put Camilla's stuff in, but I thought this would be good just to chuck like drinks. I also got this matching picnic rug, but I 
can never seem to get it back into the carrier, so we're going to try. There we go. <laughs> These things are always so hard to get back on. Anyways. Okay, so I'm just on the way to pick up Harry. He's at an appointment. Um, I quickly packed up everything. Hopefully I've brought everything for Camilla. But I didn't really have time to make dinner. I was hoping I could have made us some like nice salad wraps or something, but I just didn't have time. I was trying to finish off work. Deadlines, I just feel a bit anxious actually, if I'm honest. Open it up. What have we got, bud? Oh, Jackie's got his new advent calendar. Do you want me to help open it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to put it with. Oh, yeah, we're getting a photo. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ding. Hang on, I'll take a photo. Here you go. Smile. Good one. So, this is just Jack's, and obviously, we're going to put it with ours. You're going to put it with ours, bud? He's a few days behind. We might have to help you eat them. There's number so one. So, tonight, we've all got our matching pajamas on. Yeah. So with advent calendars, there's a lot of, a bit of a debate on whether you count down and open number 25 first. I used to like or... starting at the top because then you know how many days left and like when no. I was a little kid. So if it was like 23, you're like, oh, there's only 23 days. Not in our house because they're calendars and you work on the day of yeah, the week. Yeah, righto, boring. <laughs> okay, So number up. one, because you missed the first. Okay, Jackie, where's number one? Where's one? Can you see number one? Number one, yeah. Where is it? Oh, you found it. You want me to help? Yeah. Ooh, it's a little chocolate sleigh. Um, yeah, so we've all got our matching pajamas on tonight. I really want to get a cute photo yeah. with the Christmas tree. Bought them to wear in December, but I, I want to wear them on Christmas Thank Eve you. as well. Yeah. Put your up. Make a bed. You want to help me to make your bed? Yeah, I yeah. can do that. Yeah. yeah. No nice time. Do you know um, to I've also it? got, I'll show you, it's because it's so cute. I also got a little thing to go with our matching pajamas for Coco. How cute is this? You can get them for your dogs. It's like a pet bandana. So that'll be cute. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be really cute to get some photos, like with the tree and stuff. And then I sort of thought it could be like a family tradition where we start. You know, every December we get a new matching pair of pajamas and then we all wear them in December. Yes, Jack. What have you got? What have you got? Number two, because you've got some catching up to do. All right, go. You gonna go and read a book with daddy? Yeah. We can leave that there for tomorrow. Say bye bye ice creams. What is it, bye bye? Hey. Say rainbow. Mimi. Rainbow, good girl. Oh, what's for <gasps> this one? Ready? <gasps> well, <laughs> duck. Duck. Looks a bit like a duck. Pretty pictures. What's this, Baba? Flower. Flower. <gasps> what's that? 